all drifted into those moments of awkwardness. I had one recently, right? Now, I've got a friend of mine who's five. That sounds creepy, but... <laughs> He's wonderful. He's called Duncan. He's got Down syndrome. Whenever he sees me, he's like, Rato! And I go, hey, Duncan, how are you? We have a little hug, and his mum's like, oh, how are you? And I go, oh, not bad. And it's a, it's a tiny bit of loveliness that I have in my life. But now, the other day, I went to the dentist. I had two fillings. And I said to the lady, I went, how long is it going to be? Like, me? Oh. She said, about three hours. She went, oh, brilliant. <laughs> I step out the dentist, and I see Duncan. <laughs> exactly. I'm feeling the same tension that you're feeling now. <laughs> Because I can see this horrible future where he's like, no, no, and I'm like, dang it. <laughs> and his mum's like, what the fuck? And you're like, no, you don't understand. I'm just been to the dentist. I'm not a bad person. <laughs> so I did what anyone in this room would do. I jumped into a nearby garden. <laughs> 34 years old, hiding behind a hedge so I don't break a little boy's heart, thinking, don't get caught, don't get caught. <laughs> Much of that, some little old lady. What the hell are you doing in my garden? Trust me, old woman. I need to stay here. <laughs> Bad things happen if I leave the garden. <laughs> <laughs>